going on YouTube? This is Anthony and today's kind of a good day for me because I'm taking my custom made log splitter up to the repair shop to have the guy take a look at it. It's not confirmed that I'm going to leave it there for repair but I'm going to drop it up there so we could take a look. I've got the log splitter pulled out here. It wasn't uh, that buried. It was a little dug in. You could see the ruts where the tires were but I managed to pull it out and the way this thing operates is there's two cutting edges and this block pushes the wood back and forth. And what happened was I designed this whole unit, but I wasn't quite familiar with the power of hydraulics. And this is a 35 ton machine. I didn't know all the characteristics of metals and how much I would need and the strength of it and stuff like that. Hindsight is 2020, of course, but I did a good design on the unit. It just needs to be reinforced. So what happened is this sleeve slides back and forth and this is a one inch plate and this is a round tube that's about half inch thick and when this slides this pushes the block and pushes everything forward now this is a bad angle to begin with on here what happened was one time the wood was a little knotty and it just pulled it right out and we're gonna have to make a whole other sleeve out of thick plate of metal because this quarter inch square tube is not good enough at all so let's get it hooked up to the truck and take it over to the repair shop I've been waiting for a long time to actually do this so hopefully I just leave it there and then we get it done I have extra pins. I couldn't find the one for underneath here for that one right there. But remember, if you guys saw before, this square tube it was ripped out. So what they did was they cut off some of this here and then they shortened it and then they put this extra plate on here so that it won't give so that when it's moving around, you know, look at all the welds on there, right? But they put all those welds so that. Um, this sits on top of the uh, sleeve and it can't pull on the sleeve is what happened before with this big one inch plate here It ripped right out of the sleeve, right? So That's all done for now And I'm not sure if this angle is going to be a bit of a problem, but it's already, you know, got a little bit of an angle So we'll see But then we got to do the log lift. So I just brought these pipes here or these tubes and then they're gonna put the log lift on the other side and then they might have to move around some hosing here we might have to move the valve so that when you use the log lift you don't pinch yourself but we have enough room like obviously here to here is about 16 inch so you don't really have to worry about pinching yourself there and then um, this one I figure we'll take it off and we'll just shave down an angle on the ends because it sticks too far in it should be leaning out because you get some of those big blocks it might be uh, leaning in there you know you could see how close the cutting edge is towards that. So if you get like a three foot block, that's gonna be in the way. And he said my hydraulic tank is overkill here. He said this is way more than I needed, but I got a good price on it and I'm not gonna have to worry about overheating in the end. So I'll come back when there's a little more progress and we'll see this thing, um, you know, functioning and whatnot, get the hoses and the log lift installed. And then uh, I guess I'll have to bring some wood by and test it out. Time for an update. Got a big dump truck in here. Let's take a look at this thing. Okay, I see some of the log lifts are on. So we 
got the cylinder in. We got another plate here to give it support. Okay, maybe uh, if we weld the pin so that we could slide the machine out or we could slide the ramp out that way yeah. instead. Because it looks like are we are, we don't have much clearance here. We kind of do. It looks like this, it. You said you don't go anything over 18 inches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is 20. Oh yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, good enough anyway. We've got enough room here so we can oh, slide yeah. out this way. Yeah, because it's only going to oh, go like... Live it's only going three inches. We got six in, six no, inches no. there, right? No, no. You take the cylinder out. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You pop the pin out. You pop this pin out. You lift it up to this, and you just pull the pin. Yeah. Yeah. No, we gotta change that. Okay. Doesn't matter which Actually, way you go, anyway. Hold on. You pull the pin. Hold on. Jerry, pull that pin. Grab the. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Huh? Good enough. And then you bungee it to that piece over there. Yeah. Okay, Gary, let it go for now. Doesn't that make sense? Yeah. Instead of holding it off? Yeah, exactly. So we just keep going the way we're going. I couldn't find this ball, but oh well, whatever. Okay, with the, where it's situated, I'm just going to turn that handle around anyway, and it's just going to do the same as that. I might have the ball up in there somewhere, not a ball. Yeah. But. A beer tap. All right, perfect, man. I can't wait to use this thing, man. Yeah, okay, so you gotta get ignition, or I gotta bust the ignition. Use the battery to start it, so I'll make sure everything works. Okay. That's a 2,000 pound cylinder, so that should. Yeah, it'll lift anything. Where where it's at, it's the, it's a weak point, but it should lift. I'll just get you to stand on it, and that'll, if it lifts that, then it'll... Nothing over 400 pounds, really. I can't see your 18 inch lock being 400 pounds. Four foot diameter? Wow. Big oak. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, he just said on Tuesday or today's Friday, so on Monday or Tuesday it'll be ready. I gotta get a new um, pull starter because the thing broke in there because the engine's been sitting for a few years. He's just gonna get a battery and jumper the cables so that he can jump the thing to start. And then he's going to test it out. And I'm going to have to bring some wood by as well. It's going to be a busy week next week. I'm sure there's going to be work. And then it's long weekend. July 1st is Canada Day. But I hope to leave not Thursday night. But uh, hopefully Wednesday morning. But not likely. So I think this is 11 gallon per minute pump. It's a 13 horsepower motor. It's 5 inch cylinder. 35 tons. So we'll see. Let's see what happens next Monday or Tuesday. All right, guys, they had the motor fire up, but I had to just bring some gas. They moved this a little bit too much of an angle, but it doesn't matter. It's going to stop the wood from falling off the table. We got the log lift together. I have to get thinner hoses because the hoses I got, they're too thick. They're too wide. They got to be quarter inch so that they could impede the flow and make this thing operate slower, else it's going to be too fast. So I got the pull start assembly off and I got to change that because it broke and I'm going to get the hoses done too. This here Princess China and they got a log splitter. I've never seen this style before. Not selling here anyway. I've seen you guys with it online. It's not a Harbor Freight machine. It's a red rock 20 ton. Hmm. Hydraulics. All the fittings are over here actually. Alright guys, time to pick up the splitter and I'm just gonna load up some wood from here. I'm gonna pick out a couple of these black locust rounds and throw them in the truck. Which one are we gonna pick here? I'll take this one and I'll take this one maybe. I'm just gonna use my personal vehicle because the hitch on the other truck, on my work truck, is lower down and it's tucked in and with the deck sticking out a little bit it might be a little too close to the tailgate so when you turn it might dig in on the corner so whatever we'll see when i bring it back in here i'll hook it up to the truck Thank you. 
Okay, I'm just gonna get the hitch and then I'm gonna head over there. guys so you've seen it in action i'm just gonna do a couple of mods to it i have to make that hole bigger so i just bought a drill bit for it and eventually the guy said um and what i have to do is drill these holes out and then put bolts in the guy said it'll help keep this on just in case the welds rip but it might need some reinforcement because this is a six inch channel and it's not too strong it's actually torquing so i'm gonna get to it and then i'm gonna pull it in the wood yard and then try it out again and i'll see you guys in the next video so like subscribe share comment and all that good stuff